Hi, I'm Ben and I'm a forest technologist with the City of Fredericton. And I'm Keenan, a foreman with Parks and Trees. Today we're here at beautiful Clarny Lake Park, the city's largest park. This park is located on traditional unceded territory of the Wusquay people. In celebration of being named the Forest Capital of Canada, we'd like to take you on a tour of our beautiful park. Let's go. Covering 55% of our city's parkland, Clarny Lake makes up a size of 645 hectares. It makes for a great recreation destination with over 36 kilometers of trail. 26 of the trails groomed in the winter months for cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, walking. Clarny Lake is about 10.8 hectares in size and 35 feet deep at its deepest point. It's been stocked with brook trout since 1958 and has other species like American eel and brown bullhead in it. You can also sport fish in here in the summertime and ice fish in the wintertime. This is the witch's butter here. So this is witch's butter. It's a slime fungus that you can see all year round, summer, winter. It uh, grows mostly on dead fur and is really vibrant and easy to see when you're walking in the woods. So this is a lichen or a lung lichen that you can see often growing uh, on the bark of maple trees in the park here. They're pretty cool to have here in the city since they're an indicator of really good air quality. Uh, these guys are pretty sensitive to any air pollution, so the fact that they're grown here in the park is a good sign that we have good air here in the city. In a mixed forest like Killarney Lake Park, these white pines will be seen towering over other species of trees. Some were once drawn to New Brunswick for these massive white pines to make a ship mass for, for a lot of their sailboats. Killarney Lake has some impressive eastern hemlock specimens, much like Odell Park, although the ones here aren't quite as old as the ones in Odell Park. Prior to acquiring this property, there were logging and harvesting operations in this park, but once the city acquired it, uh, it was designated as a parkland to conserve species like this. As we move into the fall, the days become shorter and the temperatures drop. Less sunlight on the leaves begin to break down the chlorophyll, revealing the orange and yellow pigments, which gives us these marvelous fall colors. Thanks everyone for coming out and joining us on our walk here today. We encourage you to come out and participate on all our seasonal activities like hiking and swimming, snowshoeing and skiing. So come on out and enjoy our city's beautiful green spaces.